Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Daily Diary series. As usual, before I achieve, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the first book of the Chronicles, chapter 11. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that leddest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron. And David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab, the son of Zeruiah, went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about, and Job repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Joshua Beam and Hakamite, the chief of the captains. He lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pas Damim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, which where, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of the parcel and delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock of David, into the cave of Abdu Adulam, and the host of the Philistines, and camped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then in Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me a drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem. There is at the gate. And the three broke through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord and said, My God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. These things did th these three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Job, he was chief of, of the three, for lifting up his spear against three hundred he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain, howbeit he attained not to the first three. Benaiah, the son of Jehoda, the son of a valiant man of Kabzeel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in the pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam, and he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asahel, the brother of Job, Elhanan the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shammoth the Hararite, Helez the Pelonite, Ira the son of Ikesh the Tekoite, Abiezer the Antohithite, Sibekiah the Hushatite, Elai the Ahotite, Mahara the Netophatite, Heled the son of Bana the Netophatite, Ithai the son of Ribai of Gibeah, 
that pertain to the children of Benjamin, Benaiah the Pironotite, Hurai of the brooks of Gash, Abiel the Abar Arbatite, Osmabeth the Baharumite, Eliba the Shalbanite, the sons of Hashem the Gizanite, Jonathan the son of Shahaj the Hararite, Ahiam the son of Sakar the Hararite, Eliaphal the son of Ur, Hefer the Mekaratite, Ahijah the Pelonotite, Hezro the Carmelite, Nara the son of Ezbai, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mibah the son of Hagari, Zelak the Ammonite, Naharai the Berotite, the armor bearer of Job the son of Zeruiah, Ira the Ithrite, Garab the Ithrite, Uriah the Hittite, Zabad the son of Ahlai, Adina the son of Shiza the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites and thirty with him, Hanan the son of Maka, and Josephath the Mithnite, Uzair the, Ish the Ashtarithite, Shama and Jehiel the sons of Hotham the Arorite, Jedeal the son of Shimri, and Joha his brother the Tizite, Eliel the Mahabite, and Jerebe, and jo Jehoshaviel the sons of Elnam, and Ithma the Moabite, Eliel and Obed, Jas Jasiel the Mesobate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, of course, in this chapter, we get the powerful story of David here, which is here. It says uh, in 1 Chronicles 11, 18, And the three broke through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord and said, My God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did the three mightiest. And it's very powerful because um this this is um Yeah, so David David understands that the the men are very valiant and mighty to have gotten him water because he was thirsty. And so what he does is instead of um he pours the water out to the Lord and says that you know, emphasizing the importance of his men, emphasizing the importance of you know, the bravery and perseverance they showed through the struggle in the sense that he is not going to drink the water that they um that was, you know, now we see previously that it was so arduous for them to, to get it. it says, And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me the drink of the water of the well at Bethlehem, that is the gate. And the three broke through the host of the Philistines and drew the water. So they break through and get the water for David. But David says he won't drink because he pours it out to the Lord, and he places the value of his men over the water. And actually what's very crazy about it is it reminds me of a story of Alexander the Great, because um, before I read the Bible, um, um, as Lord Naron White here, circa you know twenty uh, twenty one and onwards, um, uh, one of the most powerful stories um, I had learned of like this kind of sacrifice of like water and things like that was by Alexander the Great, and when he was marching, I believe it was when he was marching back. Um, so Alexander, after conquering essentially the known world, he walks back on a different path because of the fact that um, he felt that it would be viewed as a failure to walk back across the safe path. And um, of course he dies, I think, in the process. I don't remember when it was. Either way, it, they were across like an arid desert and it was very hot and the men they had no water. And so Alexander was thirsty, so he asked for water. So some of like the last flask was given uh, to Alexander. And he, he noticed that none of the other men had water. So instead of drinking the water, he pours it on the ground and says, if the men can't drink, I won't drink either. And so he says that, and the men are inspired by this because it, you know, it goes to show that Alexander is one of them, that he's making the sacrifice, and that you know that their leader is willing to struggle alongside them, basically. And what's so, of course, obviously, Dave, King David is w before the time of Alexander, and um, it's so powerful because it actually reminds me a bit of that, you know, that David he wants the water because he's he's thirsty, and the three men break through the host of the Philistines. So you can imagine that, that. Um, 
the the three men break through and uh, they give David the water but he won't drink because he values the life of his men more than the water so that was a really powerful story I felt and so with that I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily dive video since yesterday's daily dive video I worked my software developer job and I've created this daily dive video for 2923 and with no further achievements since yesterday's daily dive video I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe visit greatly helps the channel like to be with you all take care and thanks again